we came up with the name Steel Blossoms before we moved to Nashville. Yeah, we're actually from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania originally, and people from there are really proud to be from Steel City, so we wanted to represent that. Yeah, and we always say that Pittsburgh is, it's really where we blossomed. We blossomed mm -hmm. as people, our friendship blossomed, we blossomed as musicians. And so when thinking about what we wanted to call ourselves for the rest of our career. Perfect fit. Yeah, it, yeah. those two words really fit perfectly. We are beyond excited about our debut album with Billy Jam Records. These are songs that have meant a lot to us. They're songs that we've been playing out for, what, the past two years? Yeah. And uh, really gauging the crowd's reaction and gauging um, our reactions to the songs after playing them for so long and seeing which ones still yeah. really stuck with us. This is actually our first full length band album as well. Yeah. So all of our past albums have been acoustic. So this is really, really exciting territory for us. It's been great to see all the different elements that go into it. Mm -hmm. um, that go into it on the production side and then go into it on the graphics side. And, um, and it's, it's pretty cool to have a team of people behind us. So yeah, very thankful. Very, yeah. very thankful. That's been a new experience. And the people that we're working with are just absolutely phenomenal. So we couldn't be happier. I will never forget when we went to write Trailer Neighbor, our friend Mark Addison Chandler, he, uh, he said, I've been saving this idea for so long and yeah. I think it's going to be a perfect fit. Yeah, and when he showed it to us, we totally just soaked it up and we related it to our lives. And people... He had this whole concept behind, who is the Trailer Neighbor in your life? Yeah. And then I think we actually, am I right? We base it off of one of your neighbors at home. Yeah, I, I feel like I live on a street full of trailer neighbors where <laughs> everybody knows everything and everybody goes to one another for mm -hmm. different things. And so when he was telling us about it, I just immediately went, oh yeah, I can relate. <laughs> and people love that at our shows. They love trying to figure out who their trailer neighbor is. Yeah. Who's yours, by the way? Oh. Uh... I think I might be in the market for one. So we always joke and we say that if you don't know who your trailer neighbor is, chances are you are the trailer neighbor. Yeah. So that's you. Am I so your trailer yeah. neighbor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 100%. And she'll offer stay. She's my trailer neighbor. She's always there to do a favor. Catch me up on what's been going down. Like who's in labor? Who's mugshot me? County Line is, to me, one of the most important songs on this whole album. I actually remember the day that we went to write this song, and I don't know if you'll remember this too, but we were discussing actually what was Americana. Yeah. And we were just figuring out where we belonged in the music industry, and I think that was the day that we realized we are Americana. Yeah. And we sat down and we wrote that song. And I remember feeling so proud because we're really proud of where we come from. Uh -huh. um, but we are from very small towns south of Pittsburgh and our towns are super, super different. So we wanted to represent that in the song. Yeah, we grew up only about 45 minutes apart from each other, um, but we're in two different counties. And uh, where we come from, Sarah's town is very different than my town. But mm -hmm. as our friendship developed we and we got to talking about things, mm -hmm. we realized that we both have the same issues in our towns and so um, you know it kind I think of it's a reminder that everybody can get to the same place no matter where you're starting yeah yeah absolutely it don't matter where you started you can end up broken hearted secrets hit by dollar signs take a Xanax with Line. You're the reason I drink. Oh my gosh, one of my first memories here in Nashville Absolutely. is There's us writing a that song. Pretty big history behind that song. Yeah. You had the idea when we first moved here. It was a complete joke and never ever meant to leave the page. Yeah. And I remember I played the chorus for you. 
and we sat on the edge of our twin beds in our shared room in our tiny little apartment when we first moved here. Yeah. And we wrote the song and we laughed the entire time. And I think we performed it for fun and then realized people really loved it. And they loved pointing at a loved one and saying, you're the reason I drink. Yeah, it became a lot bigger than, than we ever expected. And now here we are four years later. And it's actually um, it's still, still making an impact, which is so cool. Yeah, people still love it. And so um, on this record, we actually re-recorded it and we revisited the writing mm -hmm. to it before Added some we new recorded lyrics. it. And uh, it's, it's even better and we just, we love it. It's a great tune. You're the reason I drink. You're the reason I throw a couple back. You're the reason my new best friend is Jack. You're the reason I drink. We are so excited that our new album is not only available as a download and on CD, but it's the first time that we've had an album available on vinyl. I am a vinyl collector and I love listening to old records and it's going to be even more exciting that I get to listen to our record on vinyl. Yeah.